well, boys and girls, you're going to be excited about today. It's our math lesson. And remember, we are starting with chapter 8 today. So you need to make sure you have 553 tore out of your workbook. Make sure your pencil's ready so we can start our lesson. Okay, guess what, boys and girls? Miss Crawford and I got a second job. We've been hired by someone local in the community, and he's going to have to help us with our math this week. And his name is Bill Durr. Hi, Bill Durr. <laughs> Hi, Miss Crawford. Hi, Mr. Simmons. Hi, Mr. Durr. How are you? Good. Are you guys ready to help me? Yes. All right. As you can see, I'm a builder, and I have to measure a lot. Good thing, because today we are estimating inches. Inches. That's exactly what I paid you two to do. That's great. When do we start? Right now. Yes, right now sounds great. Let's guess, get cracking. Yes, and our boys and girls have their papers out and their pencils, and they're ready to work. Thumbs up. Wow. The thumb is very important in this lesson today. Miss Crawford, why is the thumb very important when it comes to estimating inches? Because we can use the, our thumb to estimate inches. So if you use your thumb from the end of your finger, closer. Okay. From the end of our fingernail to this crease right here where our knuckle is, is about one inch. That's a great idea for the job we got today, boys and girls. We're going to use our thumb, tip of our thumb, to our knuckle to measure, and that's about one, one inch. inch. All right. So this bead is about one inch long. So you can put your thumb up there and see if it's about the same size as your end of your thumb to your knuckle. And I bet you it is. All right, I've got to run. You guys do a great job, and I'll check on you at the end. See you, Mr. Durr. Bye, Mr. Durr. Okay, boys and girls, let's do a good job so he doesn't fire us. All right, so the bead is one inch long. Use the bead to help find how many beads will fit on the string, which is the best estimate for the length of the string. string. Okay. All right, so... We have a bead, and we can trace that bead to get an idea of how big our beads need to be every time. And don't forget, you can use your thumb if you need help. All right, so we have our first bead, one. We draw another one, two, two. three, four, five. five. And we're at the end of the string. So we know two inches is too short. Eight inches is, is too, too long. long. But five inches is just about right. So it's just about five inches. Because it's five be beads. beads. Or five of your, your thumbs. Tip of your thumb Tip to your knuckle. Tip of your knuckle. thumb to your knuckle. Half thumbs. All the way there. All right, so now we have to circle the best estimate for the length of the string. All right, number one. So we know that this bead is about one inch. inch. So if we keep estimating how long that would be side by side, let's see how many beads it would be. Or inches. inches. Is there enough room for one more, Miss Crawford? I think there will be. One more. How many inches did we come estimate with? One, one two, three. three. So you'll circle three inches. inches is the best estimate for this piece of string. Yes. Oh my goodness, number two is a very long piece of string. All right, make sure you're making your beads about the same size every time you draw one. All right, so we start and we'll trace the first bead. One. Three. Four. Five. Six. So 
know, boys and girls, why they call it an estimate or they say about is because it's not always going to be exactly, exactly that right. many inches. But if it's close, then you know what the right answer is. So I think it's close to one, two, three, four, five, six, six inches. So you should have circled six inches on your paper. And that label is very important too, inches, so that we know what you're talking about. So let's go ahead and do the last All one. Alright, so Shane. we can see that this string is a little bit longer than the one up there, but shorter than the second one. Hmm, that might be a good clue. So, one inch. see that that makes sense. Since this one was three and it's shorter, and this one was six and it's longer, the best estimate for this piece of string is one, two, two three, three, four, four inches. inches. You should have circled four, four inches. inches. All right, boys and girls, we've learned a lot about estimating. Now it's your turn to do page 557 by yourself and then make sure you take pictures of the front and the back of it and post it on Google Classroom so that we can grade it. All right, have fun estimating those inches, guys.